Hey there, it's Jojo the Thrifty Teacher. I'm having to use my video instead of Loom. I don't know what's going on. Um, I am a part-time reseller, full-time educator. I am super tired today. I was on vacation in Michigan for two weeks and um, the flight back, I was supposed to get in Tuesday night and I ended up getting Wednesday afternoon, had to stay the night in O'Hare. It was, I have to call them, try to get some money back, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm very tired and then I had to come back and help decorate our training center because uh, I go back to work on Monday to, with my um, coworkers, welcome the new teachers to our district and the new, 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 new teachers to teaching and we are going to be training them. So, um, and also it is hot as Hades in Arizona. Yesterday it was 110. I mean, it does get up to 118, but, um, yeah. So I'm happy to be back, but I also miss being in Michigan with my peeps. So I just wanted to give you a haul really quick of the things I bought while thrifting in Michigan. So I uh, wanted to show you something that I bought for myself. And obviously when I get tired of wearing it, I will sell it. But if you know anything about Michigan, you know that Petoskey stones are some of the most beautiful fossils that there are. Um, so I bought this sterling silver bracelet. So the guy was like, don't pinch it together. So that's a Petoskey stone all shined up, sterling silver, very pretty. Um, so if I ever get tired of that, I will sell it, but I probably won't get tired of it. And then I bought some ones that were semi-polished. Um, yeah, I bought some that were semi-polished. Because you can't put these in a rock polisher. You have to do it with sandpaper, wet sandpaper, wet sanding, something like that. And then I got this one, which... Yeah, I did pay $18 for it, but the likelihood that I'm going to polish any of my own right off the bat, because I've had some for like two years and I haven't polished them, but look at that. And then this is it when it's raw, semi-polished, because they don't look like that out in the wild. Um, it's easier to see them underwater. Look how pretty that is. Super pretty. So I am... I love rocks, okay? Okay. So my bag, one of my bags was over. So I was like, it's because of all my rocks. I had seven pounds of rocks in my bag. I forgot I had one that looked like a baked potato and I was going to give it to somebody and I forgot to give it to them and I just obviously took it with me. So the things I'm going to show you are things I got in Michigan. So I am keeping this. It's a vintage Robin Hood puzzle. I'm keeping that because... I've always had a crush on Robin Hood, the cartoon Robin Hood, so I will be keeping that. I went to a um, an antique store that every time I was went by, it, and I'm from a very small town, so every time I would go by, it wasn't open, but I like how he's sniffing the ground. Um, and one day it was open, and I went in there, I ended up staying in there for an hour talking to the guy, got offered a summer job. If I want to come home, I can live above. He was like, because I was like, how come you don't have business cards? How come you don't have your stuff on eBay? How come you don't take Zelle or credit cards or PayPal? Because he only takes cash or checks. Um, and he's like, well, come home next summer and do it for me. He, he just does this for fun. He has an antique store. He's a retired guy. But um, this is for myself. I will take a picture of it. He was funny, too, because if you're a reseller, you know a thing that annoys people is, when they look up something on Google Lens, then they'll say, well, look at how much there it's going for. Look at how much it's selling for. No. And I had told him, because he wasn't he didn't have anything really priced. So he was looking that up. And I said, remember, what they're asking is not what it sold for. So don't be trying to sell me something for $20 that somebody's asking for $20 and it's only worth 8 And he's like, I know, I know, I know. Um, I bought these for myself. These are glass. I can't remember what he called them. But I didn't even care. He's like, do you know what they are? And I said, no, I just want them. Isn't that neat? Because he was like, well, one of them is worth 45 He's like, I can't remember which one. And I was like, I want them all. How much are you going to charge me? And he said 55 And I said, okay, fine. 
Because I'm not selling them. They're for me. Edward Wilson, Philadelphia. Um, so these are for me. Now, will I list them? Yes. Do I care if they sell? No. Because I want them for me. And some of them do have damage in them, but I don't care. Because they're for me. Um, I have another ring upstairs I bought for him. Basically, the three things I bought are the three things for me. <laughs> um, I will say, okay, so in Arizona, in Phoenix specifically, Sundays at Goodwill are 20% off for like military teachers, nurses, doctors, something like that. And then they always have like a color 50% off tag. And I think some days are like orange tags are purple. Or orange tags are a dollar. Purple tags are a dollar. I can't remember how that goes. And then our savers, if you bring in something to donate, it's 20% off. Plus, I always get extra stuff. And then there's like different places around here that have discounts. I will say in Michigan, they said they have senior days at Goodwill. I was like, you don't have color tags? No. You don't accept coupons? No. Okay. But your stuff is priced up. Okay. Because I was, um, I had two suitcases full of stuff to bring my friend so she could start reselling. So we were going around to thrift stores. But by the end, I was like, I have a suitcase already full of stuff. Like, I don't, I don't want to go anymore. So, plus, you know, we were seeing a bunch of things. So there is this place over there. Um, there's two places in Petoskey. They're called the Gold Mine. And I think they used to be like a thrift store, but now it, it it feels like a consignment shop, even though it's not a consignment. It feels like a consignment shop. They had like, you know how when you buy stuff at uh, Goodwill online, like they'll send their best, best stuff online, some of them, because a lot of times they miss stuff. But this place in like the front of the one I went to, well, the one of the ones I went to, all their like nice stuff was super, super priced up, like beyond eBay prices. And I was just like, who, who is your clientele now? Because most of the stuff was not, it was stuff I would buy to resell. But I'm not going to, I was just like, okay. So I did buy a few things from there. I bought this handmade dress. I thought it was really cute. I'm going to have to soak all of these just because the whites are looking a little dingy. This was $2.50, which I thought was an okay price. Um, again, it, I'm going to have to measure everything. It doesn't have any sizes on it. But I just was like, you guys are ridiculous. Um, I got this vintage Oshkosh. Isn't that cute? That's super cute. I paid... $3.50 for that, which I thought was really good. I was expecting like $10 at that store. Um, and then these were $0.50. Cents. I think, because there's an Amish community not too far from there, so I'm wondering if it's, I don't know, it doesn't have anything on it. And these have some stains on them. They almost look like blood. So I don't know, I'm going to have to figure out um, you know, to soak that stuff. But I was like, yeah, for 50 cents, I'm not going to pass this up. I just thought it was cute. It was cute stuff, you know? And I don't know why these the buttons came off or if they took the buttons off when they made new clothes. But for 50 cents, somebody can do something with them. Yeah, this one was 50 cents too. See how it has that stain on it? But I was like, if I can't get it out, it was only 50 cents. You know? And this cute dress, handmade dress. Isn't that cute? Super cute. This was $2.50. Look at this. This was only $3.50. What does it say? Two pieces. Look how cute this is. So it's the little snuggy thing, and it has the where you can buckle them in to their, 
um, cars thing. And then it has the little... I just thought this was cute. And it has a zippy zip. It is um, Sterncraft. Super cute with a little lamb on it. I thought this was adorable. How much was this one? Two fifty. So here's this part of it, little dress, and then this little cute little vest that goes over it. Isn't that cute? And then they lined it on the inside even. Well, I suppose you could flip it the other way if you want to wear it that way too. Super cute. Um, and then I went into um, a high school teacher who also had, I had for driver's training. He owns um, a vintage antique store and it is packed. It is packed full of stuff and he's just mm, ambiguous on the prices. But you have to go and look through there real well because it is packed. You have to look under piles. So I just got some of these fun things. Your passport to fun. Talks about Lawrence Welk. Pacific Ocean Park. I thought that would be cute. And then Marine Land. Omar, the giant octopus. I just thought this was cute. Los Angeles. And I got Greyhound Tours. I thought that was cool. I got two of those. And then I got two of these. Package Express Services for Greyhound. I thought that was pretty cool. Glamorous Hollywood. Got Hollywood Map. I thought those were fun. I love ephemera. And then I got these hounds and hunting. I didn't even open them, but I'm just a sucker for old print. 1965, 1966. And they're beagles. Hello. We used to have beagles. And then what else did I get? Oh, he said this is from the, the theater we have in town. And it tells you the show times and everything like that. Isn't that neat? I've never seen anything like that. 1977, the year I was born. Oh, I think he said these were from the theater that was that's in our town. I thought those were so neat. And he said these would be the posters, like the... Like if you wanted to um, like have them up, I don't know, it was like advertising pieces that the movie theater places would send to you to show you what the movie posters would look like. Isn't that neat? They probably don't sell for much, but I don't care. And then this, my weekly reader, 1949 to 1950, weekly reader, junior, um, Fifth edition, full school year. Because on here, there's a price of $35. And I was like, is he really going to charge me for that? But everything I'm showing you, he charged me uh, $19 for. I got that. Again, I just love seeing the old... Um, Ads. I got that because I listened to a podcast about him killing his girlfriend or wife or whatever. Winston's. My dad used to smoke Winston's. They're like, that's a rough cigarette. I'm like, my dad. And another one. I just had to have them. Um, there's a couple more things that I got that, but I'm, it's under the pile. I'll show you. Uh, this this, I think it doesn't have any stains or anything on it. It had one small run. But look at how pretty this is. This was only $4.99. Look at how pretty that is. Right? So pretty. 
This was, I think I got this at Salvation Army. $3.99. Wrangler, Wrangler Riata? I don't know. I just saw that it was an old Wrangler tag and that it was nice. It's like a bolero, is that what they call it? A bolero jacket? But look at it. It has scallop bottom. And it just felt good. So I was like, why not? This is more of that, from that one really expensive store that I don't know who they're catering to. This was 50 cents. Again, it has some staining on it. But I thought it was so cute. Look at this. Look how cute that is. So cute. I really am hoping I can get that out. I don't know if that's like chocolate or if it's blood. These have to belong to the Amish, don't you think? I mean, there's an Amish place right up the road. Um, this is another thing I got from the social studies teacher, or the teacher I had. This is um, uh, Patricia Nash. I just love her stuff. There is a little wear on here, which I didn't notice till after, but just a cute little makeup bag or a pencil case. So I wanted that. This was $3.59. Made in Canada by um, Pinterland Handcrafts. I don't know. You can get like 20 bucks for it. It's real light. Real, real light. I got this also from the social studies teacher. Tasty diet gelatin and the packs are still in there. And then, look at these. I got these when I stopped at a garage sale. It does have a lot of sticky stuff right here, so I don't know how that's going to work getting it off. Um, I'm going to do it when I have, like, this is going to take a lot of time, so I'm not going to worry about it. But they're plastic. They're plastic. Now, this guy, he charged me, he charged me too much for stuff, but I was like, I don't want to dick around with it. And this, um, I just thought the packaging was cool. It's a service light, service flashlight. And then there's those um, little, these little picks. Can you see that? It's a naked woman. So I had those in there too. I can't see what it says on there. But I didn't want them to break on the airplane. This is sucker for old packaging too. I got this at Salvation, no, Goodwill. For $5.99. I gotta get this listed because it's still summery. Isn't that cute? But this is, uh, I don't know how to say that, call me toll. But, I mean, I saw the comp prices, like 40 bucks. So I thought, why the heck not? I'm gonna put that over there so I can list it soon. And I've never seen this before. Um, I can't remember what it's called. Here's the label. But I just like the way it looks. It's a riding shirt. Good. Good rider. Good rider. But I just thought it was really cute. And it doesn't resell for a lot. I paid $5.99 and I'll probably get like $20. <coughs> Bless me. I don't edit my videos, by the way, because I just do this for fun. I went to a different antique store and she knew what she had. But let me tell you, I have posted some of the pictures on Instagram. Jojo, the thrifty teacher. She had a house that she had turned into a, a antique store. The house, the upstairs, one room upstairs was all kids, like the attic part. So cute. Basement. Then she had a house next door that she turned into um, a thrift store. And then if you go into her backyard, there was three outbuildings. Beautifully done. Beautifully curated. So I bought these. I've never seen these before. Cupid cards. Made me think of um, Misty from Th Thrifter Hunter Vintage. Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter. Isn't that cute? I've never seen those before. And then this was expensive, but um, I just had to have it. I think it was $15 or something like that. 
but it's a tablecloth, but I've never seen this kind of fabric before. I wouldn't use it as a tablecloth. I'd use it as a bed blanket, like a, to put, you know, at the end of your bed or on your chest, your hope chest thing. But I just loved the pattern and I loved the feel of it. She's really curated well. Um, oh, I got these also from the teacher. And they're in there. It's closed. You can you can definitely hear them. They got squished. But I just thought that was cute. Thought that was cute. And then, oh, I got this pretty little stocking. And then I got this. This was only six bucks. Sorry, six dollars. I love enamel on copper. And it's from Brum Showroom. I don't know. Look at this one. Brum. Oh, Brum. Okay, look at this one. And this was seven bucks. And I have really good luck selling these, especially when they have birds on them. So... I'm really excited. Um, I don't mind holding on to them until they do sell because I just love that stuff. I want to save this thing for the very last. My friend who I'm teaching how to like do the thrifting thing, she was like, what? And I was like, yes. What I'm going to show you last? She was like, no. And I was like, yes. But I'll show you some books to add to my collection. Johnny Quest. Leia. These are, all these books are to add my collection. Baby's Christmas, because I remember having this as a kid. The Psyche Baggy Elephant. I mean, come on. A classic. Bugs Bunny. And Something Fishy. Huckleberry Hound. Uh, the... Is it Magilla Gorilla? I never watched this one. I thought this one was cute. Muggins takes off. How friggin' cute. And then you guys know Chippendale. Look at how mean they look. So those are add to add to my collection. Then I have more to add to my collection. This one's rough, but... Um, The Wizard of Oz... Raggedy Ann and Andy. Hansel and Gretel. Another rough one. A children's first picture dictionary, which I just thought the, the illustrations were wonderful. Peter Rabbit. I mean, how can you not? How can you not? Those are going to look so cute displayed out front. And then another, at that really expensive thrift store, another handmade dress, $2.50. I found one of these Ikebano, see how it has the flower, it's taped here so you don't poke yourself. This was $6. I love that you could put your flower, because you put flowers in here, it's like, um, think about, if you don't know what Ikebana is, if you can't see them really well because it's taped, but you take the stems and flowers and poke them in there so they stay up. But it would be cool with like a little dish right here or a little candle or something like that. Somebody, I have another one and somebody offered me like less than half for it. I was like, no, I'm not doing that. And then look at how pretty this one is. So pretty. And then, this is for me also. A cute little pink elephant. This was $2.99 only. And it's a uh, Dakin. That's for me. And then, little... I thought it was cool because you could stab stuff from that end and then there's the fork on this end. Hold my, hold on, hold on. 
Oh, you know what was really cool is they had a, um, you know how like they have jewelry jars and stuff like that at Goodwill and they charge like $40. I found this was in a, it was huge. Like it was like size of a loaf of bread for 10 bucks and, and there was some junk in there, but, um, some of the things I chose to keep and I was going to tape an unboxing or whatever, but. I didn't. I know that's antique. Um, there are some sterling pieces in here, and there are just some vintage pieces in here. And then I have to look up the watches. These Pinkerton badges go for like 12 bucks each. So if I just sold my two Pinkerton badges, I already made a profit. But there's some watches in here I have to look up. Because, you know, people will take those watches and repurpose them, re fix them up, do whatever. So I probably have at least $50 worth of profit in there. Um, and then I got this. I can't remember what this metal is called. But I, th I thought that was really neat. It's not sterling or anything. But I just like the way it looked. And I like the clasp. You know it's vintage when it has this kind of a clasp to it. want to break it come on I don't want to break you but yeah this was only a couple bucks but I thought it was really cool you could shine it up if you wanted to I think it looks better tarnished but that's me and then these made me think of Yvonne thrifty rich I just it takes talent to make these safety pin art things look at isn't that a parasol or something like that and look at this one. She's got a little, her little hand warmer. I thought that was so cute. I think they were like six bucks a piece. But, you know, I wanted to support the lady. She was really nice. And then I bought these for her. And it's, they're made in Japan, which I was like, oh, that's interesting. But if you look at them, right, they look like they're like black. But can you see how there's like a green tint to them? And they're like that real crackle swirl glass. I can't remember. Maybe George the Antique Nomad was talking about these. I can't remember. Or maybe it was Crazy Lamp Lady. But I was like, ooh, those are pretty. And then I have no idea what this is. It was three bucks. Look at that. It has a lamp. And this is the signature on the back? No idea. No idea. I mean, it's probably a handmade pot. I mean, it is handmade, but I don't know if it was from a studio or something. Okay, hold on. I got a couple more things before I show you the big thing. Okay. So this, it was so funny because my little town doesn't have a lot of thrift stores. So when they open in the morning, there's people in line and, you know, whatever. So I love me some ashtrays. I don't know why this has like a super, but Toot Shore. I paid four bucks for it. They go for like 40 bucks. What? Okay. And then I found this for $3.99. It's heavy. It's a paperweight, but look, it has some kind of fur on it. Because the guy goes, I think it's a rat. And I was like, that's not a rat. I think it's a seal. But I don't know what kind of fur is on it. Feels gross. But it's cute. And then there was like this handmade art show. <clears throat> and uh, I wanted to support the one lady. And these were only $5. And these are sterling silver. I thought they were super cute. They're marked. But I won't, you know, I won't be able to make that out. And then I didn't notice, so I'm just going to keep this, I think. But look how pretty this ring is. See how pretty that ring is? But then you look and it's missing one right there. That was 10 bucks. I'm like, damn it. But I really do like the look of it. 
I think that's onyx, and then I can't remember what that is. But if you're going to wear it like that, you won't notice this. Somebody might just want it for the sterling weight, you know? So I'll wear it, but I'll list it. And then this one, I also, I only paid $5 for, and I like the way it looked. But that is, I think, from QVC from a long time ago. Because when I looked it up, they're selling for like 20 bucks. But I only paid 5 bucks for it. She had a Tiffany thing, but I couldn't find anything that looked like it online anywhere. So I was like, I don't know if that's authentic. So I was like, I don't care enough about Tiffany to actually wear it. So I didn't want to buy it. Because this I'll wear, you know. But I wish I'd only paid $5 for that. And then I got me a pop socket for my phone. I paid up for this. But it's a Petoskey stone. I had to have it. I mean, I already have one on my phone, so I'll wait till that one wears out. Okay, you ready to see? Because I'm at 31 minutes. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. This is ridiculous. You guys are, you're not even gonna. You're not even gonna. Oh, and then on my way to the airport, I stopped because I need to get a Superman ice cream cone. This was $7, Sigrid Olsen. But these are Melamine Bistro Plates. This little pack sells for 40 bucks. And I got this. I didn't even look it up because I was like, well, if that was going to sell for 40 bucks, that'll sell. Isn't that ridiculous? But okay. All right. Here we go. Are you ready? Look at this. It's a bagel. Shut up. Shut up. It's a bagel. That's insane. I'm keeping the, the one down here. And some of it did break off, but look. It's French toast with syrup and butter. French toast with syrup and butter. Okay, ready? Here's the last piece. Friggin' pancake. With butter and syrup. Are you kidding me right now? No, it doesn't smell. Isn't that ridiculous? <laughs> so ridiculous. Pancakes. Pancakes. Here's part that broke off from my French toast. That bagel, I was like, absolutely. For six for six dollars, absolutely. They had one that had salad, but it looked worse for wear. Come on. Come on. Any hoozle. I am Jojo the Thrifty Teacher. That was my what I got in Michigan haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, I don't edit my videos, I just do this for fun, and I hope you have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon.